Welcome into the Original Gangsters podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Going out to the Garden State and giving an update on Lucchese Capo Marty Tassetta's quest for freedom. That light at the end of the tunnel seems to be getting brighter every day. I'm going to give a breakdown of the evidentiary hearing that was held earlier this month. We're now waiting for the decision from his judge about whether Tassetta is going to get his murder racketeering case tossed on appeal because of alleged prosecutorial misconduct. Tassetta has been dealing with this case since really since the early 80s, different forms of it, state prosecutions, federal prosecutions. He was out on appeal for about a year and a half in the 2000s, but for the most part has been locked up since 93. Um, and from talking to people that were in the courtroom, Dave Schratweiser, George Anastasia, it's looking really good for Tassetta to get this thing uh, tossed, get a, 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 a appeal bond, and possibly you know go off into the sunset. He might have to come back and, and face the case again, or, or possibly they, they won't uh, retry it, and he can just go about his business. Marty Tassetta, 73 years old. Some people say he was one of the inspirations for... Tony Soprano, he, uh, him and his brother, uh, Michael Mad Dog Tassetta, their cousins, the Pernas, um, have ran that Lucchese mob, New Jersey faction for decades. And we've talked about it before on the pod. I've written about it on Gangster Report. Marty Tassetta got a really raw deal and a lot of different facets of this. Um, there are double jeopardy questions. There are, you know, law enforcement vendetta questions. I mean, at the at the core of his appeal right now are two pretty glaring misdeeds, alleged misdeeds by Team USA, by the prosecutors. First off, uh, Marty Tassetta has an alibi for where he was uh, during the... Um, June 1984 murder of Lucchese soldier Jimmy Sinatra, a.k.a. Vincent Craparata, who went by the nickname Jimmy Sinatra, uh, was beaten to death uh, by some golf clubs in an attack over the fact that uh, him and his nephews were not paying tribute on their video poker machine business. Some people say it was an accident um, that he just meant to uh, it was just meant to, to throw him a beating and a warning and it got a hand. Nonetheless, that did happen. Uh, the question of whether or not Tassetta was there remains. Tassetta has been able to show that his uh, defense team was never given uh, proper discovery and that there was a dental exam appointment, uh, no, um, a note or a, a, a appointment book, a document that shows that Tassetta had a a dental appointment that afternoon and was at the dentist at the time that Jimmy Sinatra was murdered and that this dental appointment record got doctored and hidden from, from his defense team. He had a number of his uh, defense attorneys from back in the nineties take the stand at this evidentiary hearing, which he was granted back in the winter after he launched this uh, appeal in 2023 at the evidentiary hearing, they all claim about never seeing this document as um, as well as a 302, which is, we all know, a debriefing document uh, tied to Crazy Phil Leonetti, the former underboss of the Philadelphia Mafia. Full disclosure, I wrote Phil's autobiography, Mafia Prince. Um, but there's some discrepancies in what Phil told his his FBI handlers in the spring of 1989 when he flipped um, and what he testified to at the trial. His 302s don't have um, mention of Tassetta being a killer of Sinatra, Craparata. Uh, Leonetti denied any knowledge of, of that murder. At the trial, four years later, he got up on the stand and said that he had been told by another member of that crew that Tassetta was there and participated. 
he neglected to mention that in his initial 302 debriefing. That discrepancy is being pointed out. So we will know uh, probably within this week about what's going to happen with Marty Tuchetta, uh, Tuchetta. We know that Joe Perna was in the courtroom last week, little Joe Perna, uh, very popular, always on the move, high rising Lucchese mob soldier from New Jersey, a cousin of of, uh, of Marty Tassetta, a guy that everybody loves, kind of universally respected around the East Coast underworld, all different families all love little Joe. And little Joe was there to show his support. Um, who knows where Marty would fit in if he fit if he fits in at all uh, with the current Lucchese hierarchy in the in the Garden State, but he's only 73. Uh, Mad Dog, his brother, is 76. Um, right now, according to our sources, the, the capo uh, of that crew right now is Big Joe Perna. Little Joe is, according to uh, Sit Down News, Little Joe is running Atlantic City for the Lucchese's. So it was nice to see uh, Little Joe in court giving support to his cousin, and, and hopefully there'll be some type of celebration and uh party in the back of the courtroom after mr tassetta hopefully finally gets free because it looks like he got a real raw deal here so let's uh you know we'll keep it we'll, we're keeping it moving here at the og pod we'll always give you the latest breaking news in organized crime around the country if you like what we're doing please like share and subscribe and we'll come back with another update very soon and, and tell you what the result of this evidentiary hearing is for the Marty Tassetta appeal. For OG Pod, Scott Bernstein, I'm out.